Hey everyone, Tim here with The Way of the Rope. I'm currently in Montenegro at the Uncommon Village and I've been playing, sharing rope flow with the lads here. And each session that I teach, I like to focus on a different aspect of rope flow as I go. And I've talked about this in previous videos, but one of the aspects that I want to share with you today is the opposite of what most people do when you come to rope flow. The joy of rope flow and part of it is you've got a handle in each hand and it's connecting the left and right side. But that doesn't mean that we should neglect playing with one arm. When we train with one arm, we get to isolate that side. We can work on sneak patterns one arm at a time. It's fun, it feels like you're swinging, a, we call it a liquid sword. It's a very forgiving liquid sword we've got here. So in today's video, I just wanted to share with you seven one arm patterns, starting with really easy, building up to more difficult one arm patterns. I'll go through them roughly, um, give you an idea. Hopefully within the footage, you, you get an idea for how to do the moves. All right, so pattern number one, super simple. You're just gonna hold it, say it's in my right hand, and I'm gonna flow it overhand, but I'm in this side on stance. So normal overhand would be like this. I'm gonna stand side on, and it's just gonna go heel side of me. And this is kind of like a Street Fighter Ryu stance, just overhand dancing with the rope. You can see boxers sometimes do this, right? It's just like that though, one side. That's level one. Level two, we're gonna go to kind of like a Jedi sword fighting. So you're not just staying on that one side anymore. You can go either side like you're jousting, fencing. You can come forwards with it or backwards. But just this idea of this one arm overhand pattern. You can see how nice that is, the kind of whip and rotation happening in the shoulder there. And I'm automatically moving on to level three. Can't help myself. Into this spiral shoulder pattern where we now have three beats. So before it was one and two, one, two, left, right, left, right. Now we're adding two beats on the right side of me. And I've got a YouTube video about, just about this pattern called overhand shoulder spiral if you wanna see it specifically. But you can see now there's this really lovely spiral happening rotation within the shoulder, which is so nice for anyone nursing a shoulder injury or just wants to have a more balanced shoulder mobility rather than just strict pressing and things like that, which are also great, but the shoulder's a very diverse joint. Okay, from here, we're gonna swap hands from my right hand to my left hand. And this is a, now a throwing mechanics, throwing action as we go rope to rope. So I'm going from my, the same pattern was in my right, I'm swapping it to my left. And I'm gonna open up like I'm going into a dragon roll and then throwing it to my right hand side. So the rope comes up and over. I'm throwing it that way. And I'll just show you front on, so you can see. It's kind of in my back hand here. And you can turn this into three beats like I'm doing here, or I'll show you again side on. I like to go into four and five beats. I want to say beats, that's just how many revolutions of the rope it takes to make one cycle before the pattern starts again. So you see here, if I go one, two, three, one, two, three, that's one, two, three of this throwing action. And I can go four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or we go five, one, two, three, four, scoop five, one, two, three, four, scoop five. Once again, there's a tutorial on the page. I'll leave a link down below specifically to this because it might, I'm trying to go through these at a quicker pace, but that's called the underhand shoulder spiral. Next up, what are we on now? One, two, three, four, four and four, we're on five. Okay, so this one, we can carry on, right hand or left hand, we'll go with the left hand. So you've come from the throw, now we're gonna go with a back pass. So as I go to throw it, rather than throw, I'm gonna pass it to my other hand behind my neck and then it's gonna come out with the other hand. So once again, rope comes up to throw, but as it hits the ground behind me, I pass it to the other hand. So I'll just demonstrate it so you can see from the back. So like I'm going to throw, but I pass it at the peak drop of the rope swinging round. So as it's just dropping down, both thumbs are turning down and I pass it. Now the addition to that, you might see me doing it back here, is this upwards moment at the bottom as well. I'm just gonna leave this one as an Easter egg for you guys to play with. So you've got the over the top and then 
around the bottom. OK, that was five. Number six, now we've got the wax off. So for wax off, this one rope wraps under the armpit, and then we flick it out. So this is the first time we've done a wrap during this sequence. Wrap and out. So what I want to do is, as the rope is in my right hand, it's doing going clockwise in my right hand. As the rope comes up, I lift my thumb to my shoulder and put my out arm in the way, in my elbow, or my armpit there, it wraps up, and just as it starts to wrap up again, I turn the arm 180 degrees from the left side of my body to my right side, and it unwinds. So just demonstrate that. There. We call this the wax off. Once again, for the tutorial, for this on the channel, you can do it one-handed or two-handed. Do that. The wax off. You can swap hands, boom. And then finally, seventh pattern, just to round it out, I call this the neck wrap. Just a fun little pattern to finish off with. What you're doing is, as the rope's coming around, you put your hand again, your palm, your thumb to your neck, let it wrap up. And just as it starts to wrap up before the second one, you've got to turn fast 180 degrees, and then the momentum carries on, and it will unwrap. So you see again, you do it on the other side. I'll show you once, front on, I'll come towards you. Hand to neck, rope wraps under the chin. A bit more of a martial arts move, some sort of rope dart type action there. But those are seven ideas from easy to more and more advanced as you go. I'll leave all the links to the individual tutorials because that might be a bit fast for some of you, but I want to give you the ideas. These are things I just came up with playing myself. Put the rope in one hand, swing it, put on some music, get out of your head and just see what flows. It's the best thing for it, really. There are also more uh, deeper tutorials. Any tutorials that I've shared within this video that you've not seen today, there's Fluidity 2, which I just recently re released which is much more like three to five minute in-depth, concise tutorials with slow motion content and everything. You can also check that and get your ropes and everything like that down below or at wearetherope.com. Stay tuned for more rope flow content and other stuff from me, Tim. See you in the next one.